So welcome back, dear viewers, and I'm going to come out and say it right now. I'm just going to wing this episode. I don't know anything about this phone. Not really. I know general things, but uh, I know it's called an iPad voice messenger. I believe uh, an iPad 514 is the official designation. And let's just check it out because I can open, ta-da, I can open the um, back of the phone and read here what this thing actually is oh crikey so it's really a prototype and it's not for sale might be a very interesting device the battery is a bit swollen though uh, I'm surprised that it's still working but it does now let me just put it back. I don't know if I'm putting... No, of course I'm not putting it back correctly. It should be go this way. So yeah, I think this phone is has been around for quite some time and it's from way back when Nokia was still the bread and butter when it came to mobile phones. Do you remember those Symbian smartphones with traditional buttons like the Nokia 6600, the 6630 and later the Nokia N70. I think this one looks a lot with uh, a lot like the Nokia N70 except for the proportions which are a bit off. This uh, the Nokia N70 was a bit wider and chunkier. This is a bit more, I don't know, it's a bit more refined in terms of uh, size and um, shape. Uh, it's more ergonomic, but the buttons are really quite small and difficult to operate. So yeah, as I've said, it's called an iPac 514. It's from 2007 and it's really an attempt to uh, at making a smartphone but before touchscreen was really a thing so you have Microsoft Windows 6 Microsoft Windows Mobile 6 uh, TI OMAP 850 chipset with a 200 megahertz uh, ARM 926 CPU whatever that means I don't know um, it's got 64 megabytes of RAM and 125 megabytes of ROM and a 1.3 megapixel camera. Pretty sweet even for those times. So let me just try to turn it on and we'll check out this phone together. Again, dear viewers, this is not a full-fledged review. This is not a relevant device. So please don't judge me too harshly. I just I just got this thing for about uh, 10 euros back, um, I don't know, back in 2021. I'm a tech whore. Whoa. Yeah, thanks for that. I really needed polyphonic sounds. Uh, I'm really a tech hoarder and I do have an affinity for HP for iPads. Uh, remember my collection of uh, pocket PCs. So I just couldn't really help myself spending only 10 euros and get this piece of gem or rather trash however you like to consider it. Uh, it does take a bit longer than expected to boot up but it seems to have done so. What's it saying? The sim is missing. Okay, I don't care about that. I'm not going to ma be making any phone calls anytime soon. So again, it's a rather cumbersome device to operate. It's intuitive enough and I like the Windows uh, mobile design, uh, but these buttons are simply a hard ache to use. I'm not going to show you any photos because I don't really even want to connect this thing to my PC don't even know why I bought it since I'm half-assing this review as well but there you have it I'm not that um, thorough <laughs> in my in my intentions so I'm just going to show you this mini USB cable which goes here quite predictably 
Captain Obvious that I am right now. It's got a volume rocker switch here, a micro SD slot on the side, which doesn't seem to want to hold to the rest of the chassis. I don't know why that is. Is this designed in like this or it's just broken off? I think it's broken off, but I can't really say for sure. Pieces of the chassis are bro breaking off. This is a plasticky, rubbery design, which is supposed to hold um, scratches, wear scratches very well, but after a bit of time, it gets to decomposing. I don't know what this cover is. So yeah, this is the back. This, my friends, is what selfies used to mean. So this should be a, a mirror to which you could uh, triangulate your face when holding the phone backwards and taking a snapshot. So really not that impressive. This is the phone, this is the jack port, and yeah, this is the whole construction, which is rather nice, even though it's all plastic. It's really solid, doesn't really creak. The buttons feel feel nice to touch. But yeah, other than that, I can't really say much about this phone. And you know what? I don't even really like it. That's a strange thing to say because I've been hunting one of these on and off for the past 10 years. And when I got the chance to buy one, I sort of grabbed it. Look, it's not a huge investment. It's just 10 euros, but really, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to ask you, is this phone supposed to go in the trash bin or is it supposed to be a, somewhat of a collectible unit? Let me just turn it off so we can have a look at the writing on its back. Are you gonna send something to us? No, not this time. He's a bit shy. So yeah, pretty interesting that this is actually a prototype unit and I haven't really known about this thing uh, up until today. I got it one and a half years ago, something like that, 16 months ago. During the pandemic, I was working from home and really didn't have much else to do. So I started to collecting these stupid things. Well, actually, I started way back, but you know, the uh, you get the idea. I just uh, went overboard and I bought a few gadgets extra. So I didn't even know this was a prototype unit. Uh, the seal is not broken off, so it, it's in fairly good condition. And you can tell me, what do you think? Should I toss this to the bin, to the recycling uh, center, or should I keep it and, I don't know, try to sell it maybe? Is it worth the money? Uh, I don't really know. Actually, I'm going to um, keep to my pledge and this, if I succeed with in uh, growing this channel, I will make this as one of my I don't know raffles or something like that. I will be giving this I will be giving this phone away. So stick around and encourage my rather unhealthy addiction to tech junk and you'll get this sweet iPac 514 messenger thingy from way back before it was even a mainstream device cuz this um, supposedly is a prototype unit. So there you have it, a strange looking phone. Thanks for watching.